Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I'm a nurse here in Sweden. So today's topic is a little bit different from what we're used to. So I'm going to be sharing with you like five step how I got my NMC pin in the UK as an overseas nurse. So if you're trying to start the process or if you're in the process of getting like your NMC pin in the in the UK, I think this video will be of value to you. And do not forget to subscribe and like this video. So step number one, the first thing I did, and I think this is like the most important thing, I studied for my IELTS. I didn't just apply because when you want to start the process, you just apply on the NMC website. But I didn't do that. I just studied for my IELTS because I wanted to have my IELTS first. I don't live in Nigeria anymore. I've lived here in Sweden for about 10 years and my English is rusty because I've not been speaking English. So I studied for IELTS for about a month, a month and a half actually. So after I did that and I felt like I was ready to write IELTS, then I put in my application for the PIN. So that's step number two. I just went on the NMC website and I applied for my eligibility to see. So the first thing you will do is to apply for eligibility to see if you're eligible to join the register. So that was like the second thing I did. And that one, that one was like, that was pretty easy. You just, the, the documents they need from you, your passport, your nursing certificate, like maybe from the university or whatever, and then your license certificate. So those three documents are important. So I just sent in those things and then you pay 140 pounds for it, which I did. And then I sent it in. So while I was waiting to hear back from them, I wrote the IELTS exam. So getting to the next stage was really hard for me because the NMC, for them to verify your eligibility, they have to contact your nursing board in your country, the country where you're applying for or the country where you studied or the country where you got your license. So for Sweden, they sent them, like they contacted them online via email. I don't know, like when you register, they will send like an automatic email to your board. But Sweden refused to answer that email. They said they don't answer, like they don't reply to online emails or they don't send in. I don't know what the problem was because I was calling them and this process took almost two months, like two months, guys. So I was calling back and forth, like trying to get them to talk to the NMC and trying to get the NMC to like tell me what to do. They were like, yeah, you just have to call your board and tell them to answer the email i was calling and then finally sweden told me that they cannot answer the email so you can't help me there so i went back to the nmc and they were like okay if you can get a certificate of good standing that shows like your profession um everything about your license if you're eligible to practice in your country and all of that so then i went back and i applied for this certificate of good standing which took additional four weeks for me to get crazy. So now, like in this whole process, it had already gone three months. So then finally, I got the certificate of good standing and I sent it in through email to the NMC. So it can be good. Like if you're trying to do this process, just get your certificate of good standing like on hand. If your country issues it, just get it or some kind of certificate that shows that like you're eligible to practice in your country of origin. So I got that and I just kept it one side. I sent it into them. And then that very day they answered me back and they said, okay, congratulations. You're eligible to join the register. Now we need you to send in your IELTS um, doctor report that shows that you're fit to practice. You don't have any sickness and all of that that can hinder you from practicing. And then they needed me to show like police reports. And if I was, if I had studied outside of Europe, I would have needed to do the CBT and the OSCEs. But I studied here in Sweden. Mm, so that's an advantage. So I didn't need to like send in those things. I was really happy for that. Like that was, that was a game changer for me. So I was happy for that one. 
um so i sent in those things i'd already gotten my alt result so i wrote it just once and i passed so it's good to be prepared like just prepare yourself for the ielts so i sent in all of that so then we were waiting to hear back from my doctor because they will tell you to send in either email address or contact some way they can contact your doctor but it's mostly through emails so i sent him sent him his i i went to a private doctor actually because i didn't have the strength to start running after like uh the my gp like it would take a long time so i just went to a private doctor and i met him he checked me out i took his email and then i sent it in to them so they contacted him but it took a while for him to answer almost two weeks but then finally he answered and when he answered he just told me okay you're eligible to join the like um you're going to get your pin we just want you to confirm like your name your full name the way it appears on your um, passport and all of that which i did and immediately they gave me my pin so i was like i was really grateful for that it went really fast so so, but my tips to you, if you're trying to join the register, I just feel like IELTS, the IELTS, and if you have to write CVT, like that's the hardest part. So prepare for that. Uh, study for IELTS, for the IELTS. Don't just send in your application to the, your eligibility application. Just wait, wait out a little bit. Like maybe when you want to write the IELTS, you can start the process. But prepare for the IELTS and the CVT because after you pass the first stage, which is the eligibility um application the next stage you have just six months to complete it or else they will scrap your application so you don't want to lose 140 pounds just like that so it's better for you to like prepare and then come back and then do it so like that's my tip and then um yeah don't stress if you don't get the aisles the first time just breathe try to see what went wrong uh, once you pass the ads and the CBT, you fix it, you do it. So just, just believe in yourself and you will get it. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Do not forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys.